check this out. This is like some space age games here. This is uh, our mini splits, and we finally got them hooked up and working today. There's still some minor repairs that need to be done on some programming issues, but they are able to turn them on. Um, our HVAC guy just asked that we don't run them when we're not here because the issue is with the uh, reservoirs one overflow. But look at this. It's all remote power, which I know that's not new, but turn it on, it lights up, tells you the temperature. Watch that. Oh, yeah. Kicks on. Oh. 61 is the lowest it'll go. Um, but yeah, it turns on. It's super quiet. I I have to convince myself that I can hear it. I mean, I've got a fan on behind me. It's a core fan. It's really loud, but this is really quiet. And I went outside and I checked the convincing unit. And it's super duper quiet too. So we've got this one above the door, sprint doors. And the other one's over there. That's the only two from this whole downstairs. And those are the HVAC units that control this whole downstairs and upstairs convention. Um, just to look at the remote. Not sure what mode it is, probably hot first cold. Not sure what swing is. I haven't played with it too much. It's got a sleep timer on it. Interesting, it's got a clock. Gotta have a clock. The light, if you don't like that, you can turn the light off. So it's not that weird, just 61 up on the wall all the time. You adjust your temperature, you got turbo mode, you got just fan mode. It's got a timer, so you can set the timer to turn it on, like if you want to leave home and you know have it turned off, or set it like 80 and then have it turn on, you know, 30 minutes before you get home or whatever, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to tinker with it some more and see what all the settings are, but I'm excited about this. You know, these these mini splits, they're gaining popularity, but they're still not very common. Yes, pretty much any HVAC guy, they're gonna try to say conventional unit because it's easy, it's what they know, it's standard. Um, these weren't hard to get. The parts and pieces were all here in Houston. Um, they just they had to be kind of put together, um, you know, make available. But uh, but yeah, it's not something you necessarily walk in and see sitting on the shelf everywhere. But I'm excited to have them. It's new technology, it's super efficient. And uh, yeah, we'll see once we play a little more. But I just want to show it to you now that it's actually working. I didn't know it was gonna light up like that with the with the number. I kind of like it. It's almost like a little nightlight, but you can turn it off. Of course, it tells you, you know, that it's on cooling mode, just to the left of the 61. It's hard for you guys to see, it's blurry, but it's a little snowflake. Um, I guess I could try. Look at that. What is that, heat? Oh yeah, 77 and there's a little fire. <laughs> and I'm just waiting to feel it. Looks like it's dying back a little bit. So it has to switch. I can smell it. it. It has to switch over on how it functions outside, because it's actually a heat pump. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. It didn't change that quick, but I mean, it's, it's got to clear the lines, go over heat mode, but I'm gonna put it back on cool mode. Oh, wait a minute. Sunny 82, we've got 68 and sunny. Oh, there we go, we want that one. <laughs> I don't know why it has that many modes. I like that one. So this is our outdoor unit on those uh, mini splits. And so I've got both of them turned on right now, both of them in turbo mode set to 61 degrees. It's about 85 outside. And I just wanted to ask you guys if you can hear this. Just barely, right? Impressively quiet. Absolutely impressively quiet. Um, I can almost, when I'm standing on the back, I have to walk over here to, to hear it. If I'm standing right over here on the back porch, I don't hear this at all. I hear the conventional unit, which is over there under the meter panel. I hear the, the convention unit. So th this one is just shockingly quiet. I'm, I'm digging that. Um, you know, it's one of the things being out here in the country, you kind of want things to be quiet so you can not hear a racket. So I like that, nice and quiet. But uh, yeah, I'm out here today to do a little bit of plumbing. And so I figured since I'm here, I'll get these units kicked on. They are a little bit louder um, in turbo mode, but Normally you won't be running them in turbo mode, I'm just trying to see if I can cool it off. So, I still like it. Well, I guess the air conditioners are running. <laughs> I just thought of this. If you guys recall when I was talking about how we did the plumbing, we didn't want any of the air conditioning condensate to be running into the main sewer system. And so we had it drain in with the uh, shop sink, which will also be the fish tank sink for now. Um, so that all that excess volume from my wife's fish tanks and from the air conditioning condensers all will go into a separate tank uh, that will then be sprinkled out intermittently um, in, in the same fashion as a septic system 
but not our actual sewer septic system so as not to uh, cause an imbalance with uh, high water flows. So anyway, I just thought I'd walk out here and see. Looks like it's uh, running. So our P-traps are all filled up and all of our condensing units between the conventional unit and the two mini splits, they all run into this pipe through the internal plumbing and it's dripping out of here on the ground. So like I said, we will eventually plumb in a tank, uh, but for right now we just got it open-ended on the ground because I don't want to have a muddy mess out here forever. But look at that, that's a steady run. Woo! That is a steady stream.